All right, buddies. So I got my oil radiator kit. It's a 10 row oil radiator. All right, so that's a new radiator shroud. I built it by myself. The old one was only like here or somewhere till here. Alright buddies, so I got my oil radiator kit, it's a 10 row oil radiator for, um, from G Plus, performance parts and um, yeah, that is the kit, it comes with two um, adapters so you have to see what oil filter is used in this case, mine is a 3, uh, three quarters so that screws in right here, that's the oil filter, it's just for example so yeah, it comes with a sandwich plate Two adapters and two lines, yeah, and the radiator bus sign for sure. So how that system works is like this. So normally you have your flange right here, right here from your engine, and the oil filter just screws in here, just like this. So there's an extension. So instead of the oil filter, you mount that plate to your engine. Use that extension. Yeah, I got a treat inside here, so you got an O-ring on here, mount it to the to the flange, and screw it in with the with this extension to the oil filter flange at the car. So, and then at the bottom it looks like that, and so actually you screw the oil filter into here, and it seals right here on this ring at the outside. So <coughs> normally. Oil is coming through the middle, get pressed to the filter element to the outside, and it comes through this holes at the outside back to the uh, in the system of the engine. So in this case, we get our plate in here. So oil comes through through here, straight into the oil filter, and then from the oil filter from the outside, it comes into this area. Wait, let me get it away. It comes into this area which has a little hole here and goes straight to this piece and goes uh, into one of these lines yeah, these lines are going one is going to the intercooler and one is going away from the from the radiator, not intercooler so one is coming away comes in here and then it comes out in this area there's also a hole like at the other side just the opposite direction and then it goes back into the engine so it's just an adapter to get the oil radiator system mounted to the vehicle. So we also have two blind holes here at the sides, covered up with the blind screws. So we can mount, um, in my case, I have not received it yet, but I get an oil temperature sensor and um, an oil pressure sensor. So you can, you can mount that here, or you can just leave it like it is and just use, use the radiator for by itself. So that is the plate, the adapters, radiator by itself. And the quality looks really good. So and the the lines, it's all covered up. But um, yeah. All right. So I got a system here. So make a Volkswagen emblem on here in red. But I'm not sure yet. And let's see how the Paul is, uh, is running and then um, but what I want to do is I want to um, make it like a funnel I want to mount it in front of the fork light so I made to want to make like a funnel but it's going through that little hole uh, like this hole so I have that airflow going straight to there and um, I have like a venturi effect so the air is coming out really fast at the back and it's sucking air in the front and get pushed also from the yeah, driving make like a like a frame around here like mount it on here and here and make a little frame at the back and then I go with this things from the frame down to the um, 
to the other little frame what I what I mount straight to that little hole where the um, fork light is sitting normal and then I cover that all around with the aluminium sheets and weld it all together. So that is the plan right now and I have to see how that turns out. Alright so there's a new radiator shroud. I built it by myself. The old one was only like here or somewhere till here and um, yeah I cut it right here and put a piece of metal in here. You can see it here it's like not that nice but um, yeah I welded it in till the edge here cut out the cycle and put a second van in here so we have uh, a better airflow over the whole radiator and um, I kick it on with a switch from the inside and I put a relay right in at the side of the van shroud and the relay kicks on the van that is what it is so um, yeah so now I'm ready to get it back in the car